What's up YouTube, it's Louis here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment. It would be much appreciated. I do appreciate every single comment and I do read them. So thank you. Quant has now officially confirmed the weekly bullish cross. This means that Quant is now in a bull market, so to say. This means in the coming months, we should spec expect upside. There will be downside, of course. My personal entry point is not right now. Let's turn on the drawings. Just want you to see this bullish cross, cross clearly. Um, my entry point personally will be wherever the 20 EMA or the 55 EMA lands. So obviously the purple one is the 20 and the orange is the 55 you're more than likely going to hit the 21st. It's the closer one. So if you're holding that as support, that is where you wanna buy off. If you lose that as support, then you wanna buy off the 55. Now, the weeks are gonna go by, each week is one specific candle. So you're not gonna come down here in days. It's going to take weeks and weeks and weeks because each candle is one week. So do not expect the EMAs to be at 130 and one, uh, 120. They will not be there when Quant comes back down to them. We can go sideways by going sideways for weeks. You don't even have to close below this or close above that. You could just stay in trapped between those two lines for weeks on end. And these would drag up towards it. So you just kiss it and then continue. Or the next weeks we do just dump. And so the EMAs will be lower. The longer it actually takes to come down, the higher these will drag. And this is why I'm not gonna ever give you uh, a price for these EMAs. I'm just gonna tell you that psychological levels we want to look at are around 150. Today I am using just the quant chart. It doesn't go too much into the past because this is what the majority of people are using as well as um, the prices are actually different. Where quant is on, is on this chart is different on the other, 213 and 218. Can you see this trend line here? The head and shoulders one? Well, on that chart, it's, it's a little bit different. It looks like you, uh, you potentially already uh, retested it. That's a bit, a bit better there. It looks like you've already retested it on this chart. I don't know which one to go off, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. That would be much appreciated. But, oh, that's Vet. Vet looks bullish on the weekly. Look at that. But um, back to Quant. Wherever I'm going to use this chart for now, let me know in the comments if you want me to change to, to use the, the, uh, the chart that has the most data. But because this is the one that's mostly used, as people are not aware of that other chart with all the data, then I'm going to use this. It hasn't touched the, the, this trend line. You can manipulate it so it does, of course, but I want to use the bodies over here. Go through the bodies, bodies, and you've got a wick over here. On the other quant chart, oh, sorry, on the other quant chart, you can see we've got this random wick over here, the, the, the one that has all the data, because it's also like uh, put together with a quant Bitcoin chart, and on the quant Bitcoin chart, this has happened, but on the regular quant chart, it has not happened over here, those two big wicks. So I'm gonna use this line. That resistance is around the 2414, 240, but it would not be stupid to look to take profits now, to wait for the re-entry whenever that happens. Again, remember last week we were saying for some weeks now, we should expect Quant to go up uh, because we wanted to see a weekly close above 160. But I said, when we actually close with this candle above 160, expect Quant to, uh, expect Quant to now go up. We just retested the continuation moving average. We should now continue to go up after this spinning top or this bullish hammer. And so from that point where we called on the channel, this was all for free for you guys on YouTube, 40%. It's now up 36%. So if you took that trade, you don't even need leverage, guys, to be honest. Look how much money that is. You won't even make that in the, on average in the stock market in one year, getting 30% in just a, a few days or one week, so to say. So yeah, up 36%. If you took that, let me know in the comments down below. Tag me on Twitter posts. If you're not following my Twitter, if you're not following my Twitter, my Twitter is Louis underscore crypto, where I post yeah, updates. Already spoke about quant today on my, uh, on my Twitter. So yeah, going to the yeah well weekly time frame again. All there is to say is as long as we're above this bull market level, 150 to 130, I think it is. Then quant is bullish. It's in a bull market, and the bullish EMAs over here have just confirmed this. So that's the first step. The next step is actually confirming it as support. So. Right now, at least in the short term, we know Quant is going up. It's been showing us that since we closed above 160 on the daily time frame. We called for Quant to go up towards this uh, 
uh, head and shoulders resistance as as well as our two targets and we met the second the penultimate one the second last 2.272 at 226 on the regular quant chart potentially on the other quant chart you may have already met all the targets let's just confirm this no you haven't it's the same thing just different price levels look 233 and then this other quant chart is 226 so it's a little bit different use whichever one uh, you, you guys decide you want to but the other quant chart this one quant BTC BTC USD is literally under the video you just need to copy it and then paste it onto your chart just start typing on the chart delete this and then copy and paste that also my Twitter is underneath so if you want to go follow that for more updates during the day please do so other than that I hope you guys enjoyed today's update I do have uh, education where I teach you guys how to trade completely by yourself and yeah, you don't need to have any prior knowledge. I do have a course and one-on-one -on -one mentorship where I do have slots available now for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Thank you guys. If you want to take action, head over to my Twitter again, Louis underscore crypto, and I'll catch you in the next quant update. Peace.